What's up, Barons? On today's episode, we'll see what Gabs is up to. View some awesome footage from graduation and senior storm. Watch an awesome student profile. And see what Abigail has in store for us. I'm Maya Broadwater. And I'm Piero Vasquez. And, and welcome, welcome to, to season three, three of BCC TV. So, Piero, what's going on in the news this week? Kanye West dropped his eighth album titled Ye on Friday. To no surprise, the album is just as controversial as everything else in the rapper's orbit. The Fuego volcano located in Guatemala spewed rock, ash, and gas into the sky on Sunday. This has been Guatemala's most violent eruption in more than a century, leaving at least 25 dead and hundreds of others missing or injured. In BCC News, there's an open tenor spot in Chamber Singers for next year. If you're interested in auditioning, please come see Miss Itkin in the music department as soon as possible. The spot needs to be filled by the end of the school year. Senior pictures are next week from June 11th to 13th. Juniors, check your mail to see when you're scheduled to take your photo. The Summer Bash is next Wednesday from 1.30 to 3.30. It's a new event to celebrate the end of the year. Make sure to bring money for game tickets and food trucks. Also, make sure you're wearing your best Hawaiian shirt to fit the theme. Last Tuesday, the class of 2018 bid their final farewell to BCC. Let's take a look at all the excitement from graduation this year. Now we know it's been a weird transition saying bye to the class of 2018, but as they always say, it's out with the old and in with the new. It might have been 18's time to dominate at one point, but last Wednesday the class of 2019 stormed the halls to mark the start of our reign over the kingdom. Even though we're technically seniors, freshman year feels like it was just yesterday. I know, right? It has me in my feels and stuff. Same. Life is moving so fast. You know what? I've been thinking about life. If you think about it, we're all made of, of stardust. Wow, that's really deep, Piero. I wish I could just learn more about it. I think I know someone who can help you with that. Hi, I'm Abigail Hogwood, and I, like most people, am interested in space. And when I'm not obsessing over the crushing insignificance of my entire species in an often cruel and malevolent universe, I'm researching random things when I'm supposed to be studying. So here is facts I learned while pretending to pay attention in class. <laughs> In 2004, a planet called 55 Cancri E was discovered by scientists. And for a while, it was theorized that the planet was actually made up of diamonds. 
and then that theory was largely disproven in 2013. However, it was recently theorized that the compounds and elements found on the planet were in a super critical state, which, according to the scholars at Wikipedia, is any substance at a temperature or pressure above its critical point, where distinct liquid and gas phases do not exist. It can diffuse through solid like a gas and dissolve materials like a liquid. Basically, it's like this bizarre fusion between liquid and gas. Second fact, Glias 436b, God, these names, has temperature of 980 degrees Fahrenheit, 526 degrees for you Euros out there. In other words, if you tried to visit it, your face would literally melt off. Pleasant. But weirdly enough, astronomers theorize that the planet is covered in this weird watery substance called Ice X. It's assumed that the planet's gravity is so strong that the water essentially remains in ice form, so essentially it's like a snowball that's constantly on fire. And third fact, exoplanet HD 19 Okay, 189733B has winds that blow up to 5400 miles per hour. That's 2 kilometers and also known as 7 times the speed of sound. If that wasn't bad enough, the planet is constantly raining sideways glass, so you can be stabbed while you're being ripped apart by wind. Great. TRES2b, also known as Satan's living room, is literally the darkest planet ever discovered. Despite it being 1,800 degrees all the time, it has a surface less reflective than coal, only reflecting 1% of the sunlight that hits it. Almost like my sense of humor. <laughs> Scientists have no idea why or how the planet is like this, but they do hypothesize that the planet has a slight reddish tinge to it, confirming the popular theory that this is not a planet, rather a circle of hell. I'm Abigail Hogwood, and that's all for now. Back to you, Mayan... Crap, what's his name? <laughs> Piero. Piero. Thanks for those crazy space facts, Abigail. Next up, let's take a look at a profile for one of BCC's most dedicated runners. My name is Emerson, and I'm a runner. Running came into my life basically at the being a freshman year, the start of uh, cross country. I was a pretty back of the pack runner, really. I was uh, not the best. And so coming out of my freshman year, I really, really wanted to train and, and really work hard and, and make, make the track season uh, come the springtime. Uh, like spring came around and I was not prepared at all for track. I like was nowhere close to making the team. I was, I was very, very, very slow. I was training really hard for my sophomore uh, cross country season. But then I, I ended up getting injured because I was training so hard and I ended up having to take like eight or so weeks off. What changed going into junior year is I started training more, more intelligently and I really uh, reworked uh, parts of like my, my running form. And because of that, like my injury just went away and I was, and I was able to train really consistently and I had a fantastic uh, junior year season. Emerson is a truly special runner. He is the rare combination of the raw speed of a fighter jet and the ferocity of a jaguar, all packaged into the slight but powerful frame of a house elf. I have a, a, a lot of running shoes, and that's because I like to cycle them when, I, uh, when I'm running. That's because if, if, you, uh, if you wear a shoe like every three days as opposed to every, every day, it decreases your risk of injury because you're running on a recovered sole, so it's more shock absorbent. There's this kid, um, uh, Aiden Smith, I think. He, he's, he's supposed to be, you know, the, the fastest runner next year, but uh, I'm, I'm not so sure about that. We'll, we'll see. Keep on running, Emerson. Anyways, you excited for next season of Keeping Up with the Sharkdashians? I'm sorry, what? Do you mean the Kardashians? Nah, nah, nah. The Sharkdashians. Get hit. Oh. I didn't see you there. Hi, my name's Jessica, and welcome to the first episode of Keeping Up with the Shardakians, this time on Real TV. Recently, I've been getting a lot of questions about my summer plans, so on this episode, I'm going to tell you them, and then ask others what they're doing. I'm Jessica, I'm just wondering what you're doing for the summer. Um, I'm working at Tropical Smoothie Cafe, eat better, feel better. I once worked at my dad's law firm. 
I helped him staple things together. So I totally feel your pain. Yeah. This is my sister, Shuliana. And we're both really excited for summer because we're gonna go shopping. Yes. <laughs> Where are you going for the summer? Um, California and Juke. What's that? It's camp for Jewish people. Cool. I know someone that's Jewish. Oh, really? Yeah. Who is that? My friend. So, what are you doing for summer? <laughs> wow, your summers sound amazing, Barons. Back to you, Maya and Piero. Thanks for that, Gabs. Well, that's all we have for this episode, Barons. Check back in next year for more news, updates, and humor. Keep those standards high, VCC. And keep the credit recovery hours low. I'm Maya Broadwater. And I'm Piero Vasquez. And, and we're, we're signing, signing off. off. Well, that's all we have for this episode, Barons. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Just made me laugh. What? Um, <laughs> your, um, you are moving your neck. You go like this. <laughs> 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 she does that all the time. Like, Why don't you guys tell me? Is it you? Are good. Yeah. You are good. Uh, Maya goes like this. No. <laughs>